Places we're visiting are two coastal main cities, Ogunquit and York, one hour drive from Portland. Ogunquit is a beautiful seaside town, while York is mainly for seeing the Nubble Light Lighthouse. On the 13-day Maine and Quebec trip, this is part of the first leg. Maine is located in the far north of the U.S., a summer retreat in the warmer months, and very cold in winter. Therefore, Maine has a large seasonal population. Many seasonal residents come not to Maine's big cities but to these scenic small towns. Ogunquit has a long history, originally a fishing village. By the late 19th century, it attracted many artists and writers and later developed into a popular vacation spot. The theater, which opened in 1933, is still in operation today. After entering the town, many New England-style small houses can be seen. What's New England style? These houses normally have wooden siding, mostly in white. You can see classic multi-pane windows to enhance indoor lighting. The closer to the coast, the more luxurious the houses become. In 1,000 feet, turn left. Perkins Cove is part of Ogunquit. It starts as a small fishing village and has now grown into a bustling destination. It features a beautiful harbor and a distinctive suspension bridge, and it's also the entrance to the famous Marginal Way Trail. The drawbridge is to the south of this parking lot, and the Marginal Way Trail is on the other side. The footbridge is about to raise. Oh, it's happening! Yeah! Come on, Noodle, let's look at a good view. We'll see the boat go through. It doesn't have a fixed schedule but operates according to boat traffic. The frequency of openings depends on the day. It's said to be quite frequent during summer season, making it easier for visitors to see. While waiting for the drawbridge to open, you can browse nearby shops. There are many stores, art galleries, and restaurants around. A bit further north is the entrance to Marginal Way. Marginal Way is a scenic coastal trail extending along the cliffs of the Atlantic Ocean. There's no traditional beach near the starting point, only many rocks. It's said that the sight of waves crashing against the rocks during high tide is very spectacular. The trail is in good condition and quite easy to walk. The entire trail is over a mile long. At the end is Ogunquit Beach, a 3.5 mile long beach often rated as one of the best beaches in the US. Twenty minute drive from Ogunquit brings you to another small town in southern Maine, York. York has three areas, Cape Natick, which has Nubble Light, 
York Beach, which features a long beach, and York Village, known for its 18th century buildings and museums, as well as a small harbor. The most distinctive feature is Nubble Light, the main destination today. Nubble Light is located in Soya Park. The lighthouse itself sits on a cliff and can't be accessed directly, so it's viewed from the park across the sea. This is also the most notable feature of this lighthouse. Built in 1879, the light can illuminate up to 13 miles. The surrounding area is full of rocks, which was one of the reasons for building the lighthouse. The lighthouse is not only beautiful in the summer but also has a stunning Christmas scene in the winter. Winters in Maine are very cold, with temperatures below freezing, and combined with the wind, it's not easy for visitors to see such a dreamy scene. I wonder what it feels like to spend a summer in one of these seaside houses. Park mainly features a small visitor center and a shop. Unsurprisingly, there's a seafood shack nearby selling lobster. Near the lighthouse, there is a luxury seaside residential area. Facing the Atlantic Ocean, the views are great, and the wind is strong, 